Welcome to Flashing Badger Painting, my name's Mike. My mates and I want to see if we can put together a hobby channel for YouTube. We want to create a channel that's somewhere that you can come and relax, watch painting videos, and also watch other hobby videos that we put together. Today is a pilot for that. It's our first episode, we're starting basic, and the goal is to see if we can pull it off. Can we work together and get something off the ground? We'll probably know by the end of the video if it's worked, but you'll meet my friends along the way. One of them, our editor Dingles, has just started getting into painting and he's picked up some Stormcast Eternals. So I want to put together a beginner's video for Dingles and for you guys to work your way through with painting the gold and painting the shields on those. So I've picked up a couple of Liberators from Stormcast Eternals. This is Games Workshop's range, uh, Age of Sigma. I've got one each, one for me, one for Dingles, and you guys should paint along at home as well if you're getting into it. This video is just to get you started, but really it's to get me started, to see if any of this actually works. We'll find out at the end how I go. I'll see you there. Our model is primed. I've used Games Workshop's black primer for my model. Our first paint is Retributor Gold. Here I'm using a size one brush and applying the first coat of our gold. Our paint is thinned down so that we can still capture the detail beneath. We will cover the gaps we can see through with a second coat. Don't worry if you miss and get gold in other areas. We'll cover them with other paint later. This is how our model will look after the first coat. Same technique, now let's apply a second coat. Our second coat is complete and our gaps are looking filled in and smoother. Painting the gold armour for our Stormcast Liberators. Let's bring it to life and bring a warmer armour to them. Often when I paint my Orcs or my Death Guard or something else, I want a dirtier look. So I'll paint the metals with Agrax Earthshade, Numb Oil or just a darker wash in general. For these liberators, bringing them to life means we're going to put some red and some warmth into their gold armour. So today we'll use Reichland Flesh Shade to achieve that look. You can use this larger size brush to apply the wash as well. We are loading up our brush and applying the wash into the recess areas. We don't have to do too much here, the wash will fall into the correct areas. If it's pooling too much, clean your brush off and dab it into these pools to draw up the excess. Looking alive already. We're going to treat ourselves to a second coat in some of the more prominent shadow areas, such as under the breastplates and any large shadow area. Once we add some highlights, the contrast between the two zones will look great.
time for Auric Armor Gold. First of our highlights now, add water to thin our paint down to around a 1 to 1 consistency. I'm using a smaller brush as I want to be more accurate. I'm picking out areas on the model that are raised and that will naturally catch the eye. The chest armour, the helmet, and any large surfaces. Liberator Gold. It's easy to want to skip on thin highlights and edge highlights because our armour is already looking nice. But we've got this far. Let's add the last part to make it pop. Sharp edges of armour, details on the face, along the shield. Pick them all out. Make sure you're in a comfortable position and take your time. Armor complete, and he's looking proper shiny. Next is a black base paint. I'm being more careful now as I don't want to bump the gold. If I do, it's not the end of the world. I'll just wash the brush off touch it back in the water and drag it along the areas that I've accidentally touched. The paint will lift back off. I'm painting the areas behind the knees, the forearm armour joints and the belt. My first blue is Cantor Blue. This is a base paint again, so make sure you thin it down in your wet palette. We're going to be applying two coats, so expect the same patches which may not be completely coloured in on the first go. On this model, I'm going to paint the shield and both shoulders blue. Tech green. Ignore the fact that the word green is in the paint's name. I love using this paint when painting vibrant blues. Here I've started my layering. I'm leaving the Cantor blue in the shadow areas and I'm layering the Sotec green where I believe the light will be hitting. We aren't going completely direct into Temple Guard Blue just yet. Instead, make a 50-50 mix with your Sotec Green to create a colour that's in the middle. Paint in less of the blue area now and retreat towards the points that will be the brightest.
Now it's time for Temple Gar Blue on its own. This will be our thin highlight. Make yourself comfortable again and take your time. If you make a mistake, there's no worry because we have all the other paints we will still need in our palette. Let the model dry and take your time to back up a step and correct it if you need. The gold and blue sections of the armour are complete, and these are how mine are looking. My first ever Stormcast, hey I'm happy with it so far. You can now complete the model using the same techniques that we've used up until this point. I'll end it here, but I'll finish off my model in the background, and then I'll see you at the end. We made it. How did it go? I'll be honest, I don't know yet. I'm gonna take everything and I'm gonna hand it over to our editor. So I'm hoping he's gonna go easy on me with the edit. But what's next for our channel? Well, we're gonna sit back and we're gonna review this, see what things we can do differently, but we'd love to make more videos. We have ideas around hobby challenges, painting guides, some flavorful and fun bat reps, as well as army showcases and show you what models we have. If you like this, the way you can support us is click the like button so we know you enjoyed the video, subscribe to tell us that you want to see more, but importantly, put some comments below. Give us some feedback on what you'd like to see different, but also what other content you'd like to watch. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.